Good day to you all. Hello, everybody. For evening, as it may be for you. So it may be, and so it shall. <laughs> Ten points if you know what series that's from. I was doing a little imitation of somebody from it's Succession. Hilarious. Greg the Egg. Greg the Egg. But if you don't watch that show, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So that's fine. I was interrupted while shaving and had to come make this video. I didn't finish. This is not what I usually look like. Why does your channel. face look different? I like it. I look like more of a mountain man usually. I'm starting to look younger. If I get rid of it all, I'll look even younger. You will. look like a baby. I look like a we little boy. Bye. And that's the whole point of this channel, to be a little boy again. That's true. Listening to Led Zeppelin and yeah. other bands that I used to listen to back then. We're starting side two of Led Zeppelin 4 today. God, already? Already? I know it doesn't seem like, I don't know, I'm so used to having... They don't have a lot of know, songs. They're ten longer. songs per side. I don't know where that comes from. CDs? I mean, just no, people release a whole... turn that over, though. But you can fit more songs on a CD, so people oh, put right. more on a CD. Right. Albums only were like 40 minutes, maybe 45. And their songs are long, so they don't put a lot of songs on the album. Okay. I'll buy it. So we're doing Misty Mountain dinner. Hop today. I like that name. It's another Lord of the Rings reference. Misty Mountains. I don't think the song is, has anything to do with Lord of the Rings, though. I think it's just the title. Hobbit's Hopping? I think the lyrics have something to do with getting busted for drugs. Something <laughs> like that. I think there was some kind of student demonstration about marijuana or something back then. Something like that. Oh, Listen to not... the words and see if, if you can figure it out. Them looking for the special pipe weed. And thank you for your comments, by the way, and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, we could really use it because the subscribers is the most effective way for us to build our presence on YouTube. So please do that. All you got to do is click that little thingy. It's, it's real like easy. Adding to a virtual bouquet of flowers. Uh -huh. One little subscription and you add a rose to the bouquet or your flower of choice. And feel free to share our videos and anywhere. Feel the flowers. Feel free to check out our Patreon. Mm -hmm. Link is in the description. There are extra videos there for our patrons and other perks. So take a look. It won't bite. It won't hurt. It is very painless. <laughs> Today, as we listen to Misty Mountain Hop, what I had planned was... Sometimes we listen to cover songs. Sometimes we listen to songs that may have influenced that kind of stuff. Or sometimes we listen to live versions. Yeah. Today we are going to listen to the studio version and a live version, but not a Led Zeppelin live version. We're going to listen to a kind of recent Robert Plant performance of it because he played this song a lot in concert, like his solo career. Oh, For neat. some reason, he likes this song a lot. He's He cottons to this one. I guess. It's one of the Led Zeppelin songs that he plays very frequently. Hmm. So we'll listen to one of those. I think it's from 2017. So it's not too long ago. Cool. Just, just to be different. Yeah. We like to keep it fresh. Look at it fresh. Keep people on their toes. I don't really have much more to say about this song. So let's, let's just start let's, listening let's to it. Let's do that. It just got heavy. Great drum fills. Such a simple riff. Great. 
the monotone. Loving the drumming. Why don't you take a good look at yourself and describe what you see? And baby, 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 do you like it? Oh, yeah. Mm. Love that. This that layered kinda... guitars and the different headphones is cool. This was totally giving me a little tingle action. I mean, yeah, I got a little tingle know. too. <laughs> tingle. Little riff variation. If you go down in the streets today, baby, you better you better open your eyes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, down there, really don't care, really don't care, don't care, really don't. Which, which way the pressure lies? So I just got some kind of effect on his voice, like a tremolo. That echo at the end, nice touch. I have to agree. What'd you think? Cool. That's a fun, that's a good song. That felt a little bit like deja vu. Like I'm, I'm sure I've heard it but not in its entirety and not paying attention to it. It was like a background song at some point, or maybe not at all. Maybe this was like a parallel universe kind of thing, but it totally made me think of when you're at a crossroads and you're sort of looking in like the various directions, but you, you know, you can't go back to where you came from. You, you have to make some kind of choice. Who am I really? Let me get a good look at myself and try and answer that question. I got all of that from a song. Wow. <laughs> oh, to be female. I'm thinking layers. <laughs> I'm just amazed at what a simple little riff that is. Like, nah, nah, mm -hmm. nah, that's all it is. But taking that and just going with it, the way they produced that song, the way they all played with the piano and the drum fills and stuff, it's just a great song considering what they did with such a simple riff, mm -hmm. a simple concept. The layering of it. A rhythmic motif, da, na, as you might want to call it. Na, na. Almost sort of like in a, you know, little soldiers in a roll, and then all of a sudden it's like, ah, his voices. Don't look at me, look thing. at them. I'm talking to you, though. But the microphone wants you to look at them. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, Will Mike. I'm this room's a little echoey. I'm showy. These are the problems that I deal with. <laughs> Would you like to hear other problems that I deal <laughs> no, with? No, not really. I have this thing. Well, that threw me off. I don't know what I was about to go into <laughs> after that. That didn't feel like a journey to you? They all feel like journeys because oh. they're kind of lengthy and they have different parts and they they grow. Most of their songs grow. 
they have like dramatic pauses where one or more instruments just stop playing for a second. Like all those kind of things make a big impact on me. I do think, uh, well, from what I got from the lyrics that I could hear, even though it's hard to pay attention to the lyrics when you're lost completely in the melody. That's what it feels like to me. But toward the end of that song, he was like, uh, let me pack my bags. Going to go to Misty Mountains. Like that's where his answers were. I feel the same way in nature. It's like, that's where any of my answers are going to be somewhere in nature away from the influences of everything that's tugging my attention. It's a misty mountain. It's magical. Makes you think fairies and stuff. Even it does seem a little magical. Even, yeah. Even if you never see a fairy. So now it's time for a special live version. I'm ready for it to hear Robert Plant in a closer version to see how he is aged and matured. That's icing on the cake. Or now snow you on the mountain. That we're also doing a lot of Robert Plant on our Patreon. Mm-hmm. Just to throw that in there. If you like Robert Plant, Plant check Plant. it out. Planting we want to see time. his evolution. We're sort of fast forwarding to the end here. 2017. I'm not sure who's backing him. This was for BBC Radio, I think. Always oh, same. Very different take on Same it. facial expressions, too. pretty but I'm hearing the variation on the chorus okay okay not the same that's why Is I it? like it no it's I can't I can't tell I think he's singing the same, but the band's playing differently. You can still rock the leather. Mm-hmm. more the fiddle player is very intense in your face He's got some youngins with him, except for maybe the guitar player. Actually, the keyboard player doesn't look too young either. want to sing to this one. Is that a viola? No, or it's violin. A violin. They're a little no, bigger. I think it is a violin. Violas are, Violas are bigger. Are bigger. Yeah. Mm.
lucky boogers in the audience. dude's flexible <laughs> and good for him i can't imagine playing a stringed instrument like that and dropping low Love his beard. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Robert Plant and Friends. Should be like Robert Plant and Friends. That'd be a good name for that. <laughs> like a Muppet show. Well, that was very different. He has aged into himself well. Yeah, he's picking music for considering his. Considering what they've been through. As a younger man, he used to also put that in his concerts, but he played it more Zeppelin-y. He didn't play it country-ish like that with fiddles. It was country folk-ish. He's doing a lot more of that now, especially with Alison Krauss and all that. That was pretty interesting. So it was a nice contrast. Mm -hmm. We we shook it up today. Mm -hmm. Did a little different. The then and now. What do you guys think? Before and after. Let us know. Back and forth. And that is it. I think the next video, we're going to do two songs. Ooh. Fancy. Four Sticks and Going to California. I think we'll combine those for the next video. Okay. So we'll continue on our Led Zeppelin Ford journey. Stay with us. We can get through this together and have a lot of fun. <laughs> we can make it. It's we really a road can. trip. We really can Ties do it. Highs of those dips of valleys. All right. Thanks, guys. Summit. See you around. And repeat. Bye. Bye.